Good evening, esports fans. This is Bang on My Drums. I'm here in the casting booth with Taco, Fox McCumulus, and the referee for this evening, Steck Monster, to bring you another exciting installment of the 5U Alpha Overwatch League. This is Season 12, Week 11, Game Number 3. Game Number 2 was skipped last night and is being rescheduled for Thursday. That is one of the two Black Division games. So tonight's game will be another Red Division contest between that one team and nobody said peanut butter. Hola. At, and Mr. I was today Fox years old when I found out it's bang on my drums and not banging my drums. So fun fact about <laughs> that, uh, Blizzard are a bunch of fucks and cut me off by one character. <laughs> oh, so that's why it's, no one knows which one it is. <laughs> that, that's why it's banging instead of bang on. Literally right. any other, like uh, on Steam, it's bang on my drums with each letter individually capitalized. I'm but... really surprised you decided to drop that vowel, which is arguably very important to the sentence instead of the plural of drums. Because bang on my drum sounds stupid to me. Wait, it's actually supposed to be bang on my drums? Right. It is. They always like a very important letter yeah. there. Well, you <laughs> see, banging, really banging. You could have like gotten rid of you or like. Banging my derms? No. <laughs> this is this is very much bang in my drums though. Yeah, not like bang on not my drums. I know, on. and to me, the like, changes it. it. It's a it's a, it's a close enough approximation for me, and at this point, I don't feel like paying to change it. All right, all right, all right. I guess that's fine. All right. So also, instead of unrelated. gift subs, instead oh. of gift subs, if somebody takes a map tonight to nine and nine, uh, I will give ten dollars to bang on my drums to change his name to something else that apparently makes more sense to me. Yeah, welcome to Week 11 Game 3 where we just fucking roast Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, tonight's contest is going to be a really exciting one. The last time these two teams met, uh, if I'm not mistaken, nobody said Peanut Butter 3 owed that one team. And it was their so, first win of the season. It was. So, I'm honestly, I'm looking for a repeat performance here. I, I think it's possible. You know, any anything can happen any given Wednesday, as they say, uh, or at least as I say right now. So we we have a there's a chance here that you know that this could happen again. Anything is entirely possible. That nobody said peanut butter. I've been you know in the games that I've uh, casted that they've been playing. They've definitely been making some strides in their in their performance over the course mm -hmm. of the season. I think the fact that it, all the teams are meeting each other so often means that they've now had more opportunities to you know figure out what the deal mm -hmm. is and what they need mm -hmm. to uh what they need to do to win they're yeah, currently absolutely. sitting at a one and eight record and then of course that one team currently sitting at five and four for the uh matches mm -hmm. and here we go map number one is going to be nepal nipple and i do want to point out so. since so infamously when i i think it was 19k that I bet on uh, TOT last time this matchup was on, and I lost it all. Yeah. Um, I am putting every channel point that I have. I don't have that anymore. Um, but my 2,612 channel points that I have, I am putting on Nobody Said Peanut Butter, so they better not let me down. Did you uh, Did you immediately run into Dan's room and yell at him for <laughs> losing you uh, so much money? No. I actually have no other recollection of that night other than Will saying, who's the one that lost 19K? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, got it be me. <laughs> so looking at this first point here, I fully expect that Dan guy to come out on the hamster, and I'm wrong. They're going to run the full brawl here with Frontlash on the Pharah. Chris Helm's running the Brig, so they're not even going to have a Mercy Pocket for Frontlash. And then on the side of uh, Nobody Said Peanut Butter, McStupid out on his classic Roadhog. It's definitely a good map for it here in uh, Sanctum. Got Cardus on his uh, Torbjorn. Uh, Guy Fieri actually not in the starting lineup tonight. Oh no, McSubit is going to go Zarya. No, back to Roadhog. And Roadhog. It's already exciting. Here we go again. <laughs> the lineup changes. All right. And here we go. First point. We see we've got two main healers on the side of nobody. Uh, the side of nobody said peanut butter. Whereas we've got the speed of Lucio coming out now on the side of that one team. So they're going to go for just a lot of AOE healing. And King Pebble's going to be looking for some spicy boots. And uh, that one team has made it to point first. King Pebbles hanging out there. Front lash will knock Big Stupid Head off the Ooh. side there early. Man, you know he was looking, fishing for dumbasses there. Yeah. And he got uh, no use there by Front yeah. Lash. That Dan guy in a bit of a pickle right now. 
He's, right now he's, he's uh, coming to his team. Guys, it's fine. Uh, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Um, just, he's not uh, going to get up. He's, he's just got to commit Sudoku at this point. <laughs> he's not going to get back up from there. I really don't see it happening. Oh, yep. Oh, 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 I forgot to go into first was, person because I was fixing he was a mil He was a millimeter away from that edge, too. That You know he's just a little bit <laughs> upset about that. <laughs> there it is. I gotta be honest, I'm surprised that Dan keeps going doing for that? zoo pals because he's doing a whole lot of yeeting himself off the map I, I mean, this is the first the already <laughs> takes out cardis and his turret makes stupid head will get some revenge there jack Strill going down to that dan guy who's just rolling through nobody said peanut butter right now Grookey finishing off Flame Chaser. Viceroy Griff will pop his ult. I think he might really want that one back. He was, they were already down so many in that fight. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really seem like the right time for that, but here they go. The fight continues. Viceroy Griff and Emerald are both taken out, and that is going to be a team wipe, basically, for uh, Nobody Said Peanut Butter, and they are going to have to regroup and start again. Looking uh, at some ults we have online, we've got both support ults basically ready for Nobody Said uh, Sorry, for that one team. Nobody Said Peanut Butter's got two... They might get Visor mid-fight, so maybe they'll go for like a Nano Soldier. And here comes a Minefield early. That's going to slow down this push. The beat comes out from King Pebble, and that's going to be not for any particular reason that I can see. But here comes a Shatter from Flame Chaser, getting several. Jack Stroll gets two with the Helix Rocket. McStupid uh, and Cardus are following up, and the Molten Core is out. Cardus is going to give him the Cummy Wummies. And that is going to allow them to get to point front lashes by himself. That dead guy rolls through and takes out McStupid Head, though. He's on point trying to stall, but there are five people all around him, and it is not going to do much. And the it's... point now flips in favor of nobody said peanut butter. As that guy, that dead guy goes Ooh. down to the turret. A lot this of stagger going on here. We see the angry monkey, Grookey, wow. though, jumping That's back it. in, takes out Jack Strill and Flame Chaser. The point almost flips, but not quite, as there's still three members of nobody said peanut butter on point. They're trying. Oh, now it flips. That was Vice a really, is down. really massive play from Grookey. Yeah. We still have a little bit of stagger going on. Will is still in the back. Oh, I'm worried about Chris Helms right now. There he goes. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to try. Here comes the whole hog. <laughs> Chris Helms goes off the point, but he eats himself back. Oh, let's get, oh man, this is really close. Nate Dog popping the wow, Death wow. Blossom. I think that was more a, just a... Wow. was a crazy guy. play from Grookey. Um, they were just about to lose the point, but Grookey came in with a monkey ult. And that normally, was... when you see a monkey go in and, and ult like that at the end of the point, you're like, uh, okay, you just gave them, you know, however much HP and ult charge, but on a on, um, sanctum like that, whew, knocked in, knocked in the, with the, the main tank and one other person off just to bring their team back and win their round. Really, really, really good play there. Huge, as I say. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate the fact that even Chris Helms doesn't know how he made it back onto the point after he got whole hogged by McStupid Head? Um... I believe he's he, no, yeah. I thought he shielded and just like I think he stunned him out of it. He shield bashed, but he was over the hole. Huh. He looked straight. So it like jumped him up. It was weird. I saw it happen. I was very confused. <laughs> I want to. I would might have to go back and watch that later. The, that interaction was wacky. Anyway, Chris Helm just has a little bit of a brig magic in him, I guess. There you go. Maybe the Have real brig that? magic was the Ooh, Chris Helms we made the way. Jackstro getting flattened early there by Front Lash. We see now that the uh, Nate Dog Reaper coming up. Akardis also running the Reaper here. He is not going to win that 1v1, though. Down goes Viceroy Griff. McStupid Head is getting some hooks, but he's just not getting the kills that he needs. Down goes Flame Chaser. And uh, Will, you better run away, bud. Because yeah, there's a lot a of Reaper move. up his butt. He's got several people up his butt there. That was like four of them. So they regroup, Ski. And uh, we'll see what they do. You see, McStupid Head now running the Zarya now, so they're they're just gonna go full brawl here, which I actually like. Uh, I, I think... do not. <laughs> no. I want to hear your two cents on it. Just because the fact that they keep getting split, and if McStupid is off on weird flanks, getting split all the time, it makes it harder for his team to do anything. And uh, speaking oh, of which, my goodness, <laughs> what a play by Front Lash. Speaking of teams doing things, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brawl's just rough into. They don't have the far Front mercy, lash. but. Yeah, when you think about it, you're running Brawl um, into a Reaper, into a Front Lash, into a Farah, um, into a Brig as well. That just makes it a lot tougher um, to handle. And with the Zen, and the Moira obviously is a good pick, but I feel like the Zen is just going to get 
absolutely dumpstered by pretty much everything here. Oh man, Nate Dog oh. with a quad. He gets most of nobody said peanut butter in that fight. Flame Chaser did charge him down, but it was a little bit too late. Like Stupid had also getting taken out, and that was a lot of alts. Yeah, I think they're, they're struggling a little bit with positioning because I don't think going that high ground there is really the play uh, into a Reaper, into a Fara. Um, just like going into that really, really enclosed space. And I get it, you want to brawl, you want to be close to them, but you also don't want to be as freaked out. And they, they just decided, you know what, Mr. Monkey, you don't get to be in the yeah, game anymore. No, he does not. And the minefield comes out. Chris Helms takes out Jack's drill. Flame Chaser going down to Nate Dog there. Voice Ray Griffin trying to keep his team in the fight. The beat comes out from King Pebble. Cardis will eventually finish off Chris Helms, but again, just not quite enough as King as uh, King Pebble will finish off Make Stupid Head with the melee there. That was a spicy one. Cardis is on point. He's trying to stall for time, but not for long. And that is, oh no, the C Flame Chaser coming in on the ball, trying to hang on for time. It's just not enough. Boyster Ray Griffin now floating in, just continuing the stall as best he can. And that is going to be all that she wrote. Map number one going solidly to that one team. Oh, my, uh, my channel points are hurting a little bit up after that <laughs> one. I'm struggling to see what kind of a plan either team has. Um, obviously we have Front Lash, um, and just like some, some pop-off characters on that one team. Um, but I'm struggling to see what kind of, like, counterplay and what kind of an idea, uh, nobody said Peanut Butter has. Because they put the Jackstraw on the Soldier, but then they're running like a Zen, they're running a Moira, they swap in, swatch in, switch into the Brawl, um, and, yeah, it's just like, it needs to be a little bit more concise and a little bit more... Um, optimized, I think. If they had kept the ride, I honestly would have rather them see, I'd rather seen them run double shield and run a Sigma. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It would have helped with the Reaper. It would have helped with the ball. It would have helped with the monkey. Like just having the rock for the stuns, having the kinetic grasp, or or even a diva to deal with the Pharah instead of instead of the Zarya might yeah. actually have also helped. Yeah, and I find it now interesting they're, they're running it. the Reaper as well. Maybe because of the Winston. But I don't think the Winston was really causing that much of an Winston, issue. I mean, Winston, either Winston or Ball, Reaper is going to give them a hard time. And I know with Jax, you know, he's not, he's definitely comfortable on Soldier, but he's not necessarily comfortable on a lot of things that counter Ball. Like, I don't know how much May or, or Sombra he plays. And those are kind of the hard counters to Ball as far as DPS heroes go. Yeah. Or even throw in, like, a McCree. Like, that stun is going to be big. It's also going to oh, give yeah. a lot of pressure for um, the, the Farah that doesn't have a pocket in like any way yeah because the far is gonna really struggle for healing in that team comp so i, I think we just take out the far and then all of a sudden your your options open up like crazy absolutely although i will agree with you though the the pathing i think was also very tough for them because they fed themselves through that tiny room mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. far and reaper just had a field day right at that little tiny choke as opposed Twice. to going down main Twice. yeah yeah and think about it, like the ball rolls through there he gets you know half of his ultimate <laughs> just from running through six people um that being said i will be right back i forgot i had tea that i was making and i need to make sure it's not you know destroying my kitchen well it's just tea so hopefully not anyway looking at the map selections here it's uh two cp next everybody's least favorite map type universally changed my mind the map options for tonight are going to be Hanamura, Anubis, and Volskaya. I'm kind of speaking, expecting Nobody Said Peanut Butter to pick Volskaya. Because that's that's a map that I know I've seen them pick a lot. And it's I think it's one they're comfortable on. And uh, now that Guy Fieri is in here, I would fully expect maybe some cheeky sim strats. Maybe a little, a little, uh, little echo action, which will definitely be helpful. There's lot, lots of ways that they can uh, play at this here. I mean, and, Echo, uh, Echo is the only way that Guy Fieri can cheat and play tank, so. <laughs> he has to. It's the rules. In Echo's defense, uh, she's quite a useful hero just on that first choke in general because you can get up and around it and, you know, shoot the sticky bombs at people from above. Oh, yeah, I love playing Echo. I've only really started her playing in the last I couple of days. I also think Echo is honestly a pretty solid far counter. Absolutely, because you can you don't have to worry about like trying to guess where somebody's gonna fly to and hope you hit them with a the rocket. You can just look at her and you have a, basically a hit scan with a primary fire, or you have the focus laser that literally just tracking and you just melt people. 
So yeah, it's it's definitely doable. <laughs> And uh, it looks like Volskaya is going to be the pick from that one team. Although Chris Helms coming in here saying he wants Paris. Um, that's not how this works. We don't play Paris anymore. Uh, mostly because it's a bad map. <laughs> What's a bad, a bad map? map? All right, I'm back. Hello. Sorry about that. Paris is a bad map. Oh. I mean, that's like an opinion, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's at least one Overwatch player out there who's like, I kind of like Paris. <laughs> And I think that's, you know, the sim player that really just likes to play on the piano, but that's beside the point. Well, apparently uh, Frontlash is one of them. Not Frontlash, excuse me, uh, Chris Helms. But the map is Volskaya. And we see Guy Fieri now is here. And he's ready to do some damage. We got Trumpet Jesus in with Viceroy Griff on heels. Jack Drill will be on the bench this round. And we see uh, Sandwich14 subbing in for Nate Dog. Uh, make sure Jax gets the right spec. Yes, he should be specking the Rojo. Oh, it just occurred to me that Steck is running the, uh, um, lobby. The lobby. And yes, yes. Yeah, I said that. I said that as if I was saying it to you, but that tone of voice towards Steck would have sounded really rude. So I apologize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> I thought I was talking to Jonah. <laughs> it's fair. I've I've run enough lobbies that it's quite amazing. You know, it, it's quite uh, you know, logical that you might make that assumption, yes, what I meant to say. It's almost like you're good at things, and we trust you. Oh, and uh, also a question. Hi, casters. What language is uh, Taco's game in? I believe it's Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. It is Japanese. very much Japanese. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. So, I keep telling uh, myself you know, I'm going to like stuff. click the button to put it in English before I produce, but then I keep forgetting. So, oh well. You know what? We have fun here. Now, now you get to learn something. A lot of alts are way cooler in Japanese, to be fair. Like Reapers. I... Reapers is way cooler in the Japanese. I believe it. 100%. I, I could totally see that. I want to know what... Um, I want to know what... Uh, Junkrat sounds like in Japanese. Um, probably just as angry. <laughs> how much? How much anime do you watch? A decent amount. So exactly what you think he sounds like. Like look <laughs> at his character design and then think about an anime voice with that design, and that's it. I love it. Uh, I love it. Not I love players. it so much. Everyone's there. Guy Fieri just hasn't yeah, picked a hero yet. But neither <laughs> was Dan, what are you doing? You crazy man. When, when oh. he comes to life, he goes, oh, hi, awesome. It's amazing. I love him. Yeah, I uh, I believe it. Uh, I bet. Yeah, I don't really know what's happening here, but I'm having a good time. Okay, there uh, we go. Is something wrong with the lobby? It was, but now it seems to be back. I think now. it's just a meme at this point. Did Everybody anybody else's is. kill feed? It's okay. List You're still showing just... his scoreboard. Hmm? It just listed nobody for a second there. It was weird. Yeah, I'm showing the scoreboard because nothing's happening in game. <laughs> Be quiet, PMA O W L. We don't need your uh, micromanagement. Yeah, no. I make our own PMA O W L. I was showing scoreboard because blackjack and hookers. Um, they had the it was like the waiting yeah. for people thing. Jota so is forget right. the blackjack uh, and the hookers. And I don't think the defense is gonna make it in time. Yeah, they uh, oh, they no, okay. The... They have another thirty seconds, right? Okay. It, they might have memed a little too hard for their own good there. Oh, wait, no, no they, they didn't. didn't. You're right. I, I thought no, the round right. started, but they have another, like, the extra 30 seconds. Never mind. Yeah. That uh, was still pretty also, funny. And also a reminder for our audience, uh, 11 minutes left to, to bet some channel points on the winner of this match. So get those in. And Don't be better wrong. yet, uh, you can still buy GameStop stock. <laughs> Just funny things to, uh, to mention out there. A little too topical for Just me. Don't intentionally manipulate the stock market. No, we have definitely an intentionally positioning manipulate the stock play market. Fuck billionaires. From that one team, they're like hiding a little bit. Money isn't real. It's all yeah. Made this up. Uh, this little True. side room they're all creeping in is very oh. spicy. They are gonna make very good use of it. Rookie oh, getting rocked record. right off there on Cardis, and that is gonna be a very important early pick as uh, nobody said peanut butter. Reses Cardis from uh, Trumpet Jesus there front lash though taking out Guy Fieri. So now they're down one, down two. And uh, nobody said peanut butter is just going to have to back on up. Flame Chaser up there more or less by himself. And uh, that was 
That was not something I, I, I don't think anybody would have seen coming. Yeah, uh, out really of no piece of peanut butter. That was a we're carnists. That, <laughs> that was a spicy play, just super spicy. We have Eric on the Echo, which could be really, really big because Echo can play pretty well against Afara, especially one that doesn't have a Mercy Pocket. That's what. That's actually what we were saying while you were off making your tea. Uh, is oh, how Fe Echo is an excellent counter to Farah. And we see now that uh, nobody's hit peanut butter is finally getting. They're taking some space here. Cardus and Chris Helms. Uh, well, Cardus trading a kill there. Chris Helms goes down, but so does that. Dan guy gets him down. But now the picks are coming in hot and heavy here, as uh, that nobody's hit peanut butter gets on the point and just eliminates all of that one team. And it looks like it just uh, second time's a charm here, mm -hmm. and they're gonna cap this first point pretty handily. Yeah, really well done. Honestly, like, big hints goes to Trumpet Jesus on the Mercy. Really just, like, being able to support, um, you know, both the tanks and the DPS in order to do that, um, to take that win away. Interesting choice with the Lucio and the Brig on defense, I think. So part of it is that Brig is, like, the primary healer that Car that uh, Chris helps mm -hmm. plays. That's like, that's, like, his number one. So... You know, it's a comfort pick. That comfort yeah. pick. Bleh, and we lose the, we lose the Faro, we lose the Brig, and then the two tank alts come out. Flame Chaser getting a kill with the actual Shatter itself. The uh, Gravitic Flux from Grookey not really doing enough to kill anybody. Roadhog yeah. comes out with the whole hog, and then the hook kill on Sandwich 14 there. Chris Helms jumps on a point, tries to make something happen, and can't. Frontlash is getting harassed by both the Soldier and the Echo and isn't able to get to point. And now we see Lucio speeding his tanks back in. We've got Zarya Ball with Ruki just spinning for dear life. Frontlash gets one with the Barrage. Cardus manages to kill him back. Oh, Takes out King Pebble. And we see the Zarya now coming out from Guy Fieri as he hits copy. And it's not its not going to be quite enough as the uh, spawn oh, advantage for the again. defenders. Oh, going to do goodness. a lot to help them out. But here comes the Pfizer from Cardus that finishes off Grookey. Sandwich 14 is there, just racing on point. He doesn't have much he can do. He hits the oh dead boss and they get all three of them. 97.5. Wow. We, we need a counter on stream for how many ultimates are used in a fight. <laughs> mm. That was a was a couple. Sandwich in the corner. Yeah, we, we used four ultimates right away to get the initial win. That's what got us our first two ticks. Um, and we just kept using them. We kept going. Sometimes it's press Q to win, sometimes it's press Q to not fight lose. Except yeah, pretty much. I don't think he had his ult. Um, I, was, I, don't, did, did, I don't think Chris Helms used Rally either. No, he Ooh. didn't have a chance to. He died too quickly. Ruki getting picked off there. That's a big pick. Oh, no, but Kai Fieri going down as well. Let's yeah, see if, we uh, lose our beat. Trumpet Jesus, can he get the res off? And he does. Chris Helms jumps in. Ooh, a sneaky shield bash, but... He's going to suffer Golden for that because he was not paying attention to the Roadhog. Another Shatter coming out from Flame Chaser. It's going to get one. Sandwich 14 goes down. The beat comes out from King Pebble. Bloodlash is going to finish off Cardus. And it's now just that da that dead guy spinning around point. He got stopped there for a second. Him and King Pebble are just there trying to hang on. Vice Ray Griff is kind of lasering down King Pebble with the Coalescence. Trying to make something happen there. It's just not enough. Bloodlash will eventually win that fight against Guy Fieri. And the minefield allows... That one team to stabilize here as Viceroy Griff gets picked off. And now it's just, uh, oh, down goes the Mercy as well. Frontlash just kind of raining rockets down here. He oh, is, oh got his ult. Oh man, King Pebble gets hooked super spicy style. <laughs> and uh, yeah, McSubin is just like, I'm just gonna die now. This is nice. fine. We do have a switch to a summer now, which I'm kind of into. Um, um, in that yeah, fight I, with 20,000 ults, Just make the hamster not play the game and Eric. you win. Right. Yeah, that's our second fight in a row now that has had a number of ultimates. Um, that is a, a, certainly above one. <laughs> now, the one thing to keep in mind as far as ults go is that uh, that one team has zero to work with currently. Whereas, uh, oh, sorry, no, that it's yeah, uh, nobody's peanut butter has zero to work with. I bet caught the backwards. That one team has two, almost three. No, so let's so hope that Guy Fieri, let's hope Guy Fieri uh, can get that EMP really quickly here. Although we do have a hack on the Farah. This could be big. Oh, but our balls are... Uh, here, here we go, the fight happening in the small choke on the side of point. You see that dead guy on the Winston now just kind of jumping in there and causing some chaos with that tickle gun. And uh, right now, no butter. Oh, King Pebble getting charged down by Flame Taster. The Shatter comes out. He got that one quick and gets 
Now both the healers, that one, that dead guy is down. Front lash did finish off Guy Fieri. Here comes the tag visor from Sandwich 14. Trumpet Jesus is gonna go down there. McStupid had getting taken out by the barrage. And the soldier visor is gonna also eventually take out Flame Chaser who had to drop his shield. Just not quite enough from uh, nobody said peanut butter. They're gonna have three alts coming into this next fight. Guy Fieri's a little over halfway to his. So I'm looking for him to get his EMP probably mid fight here. Mm -hmm. And maybe they'll just press Q to win. That's really what we can hope for at this point. Yeah. If you're uh, nobody said pe if you're uh, nobody said peanut butter. And there were there were like there were a couple things with that fight, but I think Eric has been focusing a lot on trying to take out Front Lash, which he's getting, been getting a, a couple big hacks on him. Um, but I think we could really just like I'd like to see him farm the tanks a little bit more. We do have to see him on EMP. I can't wait for him to use it in about three seconds. <laughs> well, he may want, not want to use it now. Yeah, that that is a lost fight. He definitely does not want to. But I think we're about to see it. Nope. Okay, we have a TP out. I don't know. It's just him and McStupid hanging out over yeah, there in. on the uh, left Will. far left side of point. If you're the attackers, Will don't do that. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh no, he. <laughs> Will, why you Eric, please don't EMP. Please don't. Oh, I got so scared. No. <laughs> when he threw that translocator. Oh, no. He, no, he, he, he hit got it. Interrupted. He hit it. He got oh, stunned. He got stunned by Chris Helms. Yup. It's a big oh, shatter. It's a really big chaser. shatter, but there's only four of them. He's going to try and make something happen as best he can. Once again, Grookey oh, just swinging needs. around on the ball. <laughs> charges Chris Helms off point. Flame Chaser does, but now he has to come back. And he doesn't oh, make my. it. And that's the end of round one. Oh, oh my. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, it's all overtime and Oops, all overtime. everybody needs to use their ultimate. Um, just a little, little lack of cohesion, a little lack, lack of coordination, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's just sometimes you can like, you can, you can hold your ultimate for next fight. It's a thing. <laughs> and I don't think yeah. that. Yeah, we've just been having a little bit of fiasco on every single time. I do like the Sombra pick, though. I don't think that we've had a ton of time to see uh, Nobody Said Peanut Butter work around that. Like, we really only had two fights there. But I think definitely, definitely need to be looking at some alt usage here. You know that, right. uh, you know that vine fed. of the guy with the spaghetti falling out of his pocket? He's just, like, sitting on the ground crying, trying to put the spaghetti back. Mm -hmm. And that's, everyone else looking in uh, mild horror and disbelief. That's the energy I got from <laughs> that team fight. <laughs> oh, you're just watching, and the, the hog has got his spaghetti filling out of his pocket, and the somber has <laughs> got his spaghetti falling out. We're just watching, like, oh I my think, god, why? To be why fair, do though, you even have as, spaghetti? as much as we are like, oh, Guy Fieri, you know, like got stunned out of his ult, we should give a little credit to the fact that Chris Helms did the stunning. Like, that yeah. was a good Helms, play. That, that stun by itself probably saved that fight oh, yeah. for his team. Uh, I don't know about that, because it was just the Sombra there. Yeah, but the <laughs> thing is, is, his team was coming back. That EMP would have given his team enough time to get there. And, and the other... get a recontest? Yeah, it, it definitely would have helped. Yeah. Oh, now we have a Doomfist, which I like Eric's Doomfist. I still think I would have liked the Sombra a little bit better. I and listen, I know it, I know you're gonna personally hate me for saying this, but um, joke right on defending on this first point. Really strong pick. Don't know do why they did that. I know those play I'm just surprised the with a little echo more spam. felt like it was going so well against front lash, and then front lash kind of like got a whole lot of kills in that last fight. I'm surprised we don't see the echo. Again. Speaking of kills, we see that one team just running over. Nobody said peanut butter right now. Front lash killing guy Fieri down as four. I talk about it. <laughs> Oof, we see McStupidhead is still there. He is going to try and contest for as long as he can, but it's not going to be quite enough. So with a little bit more time to capture the second point, that one team is going to be moving on to Objective B. Yep. And Honestly, that, that first fight happened so quick, we barely got the analysis up. Right. That <laughs> we were still talking so much about team comms, which, speaking of team comms, I think we're switching a little bit too much on Nobody's and Peanut Butter. Like, sometimes you just got to, like, give yourself a couple of fights. Yeah, definitely. It's, sometimes it's about falling into a rhythm, and I know that that's definitely important here. We see Trumpet Jesus on the brig now. Guy Fieri pops the Meteor Strike. It's right in the middle of a group. Does not get anyone, but does cause that one team to split up. Cardis uh, turret goes down. Guy Fieri getting finished off by King Pebble. Oof. Now we see Chris Helms getting finished off by the Coalescence from Viceroy Griff. 
The fight's still happening there. Flame Chaser just swinging away. Charged a little too far off from his team there as there's still people on point who they need to worry about right now, especially this Lucio of King Pebble who has yet to die. <laughs> I, <laughs> there's, there's something so funny to me about watching a Lucio just kind of like be a little like gnat after his team is dead. He's just stalling for time or whatever yeah. he needs to do. <laughs> And just everybody's staring at him and just like chasing him around. It's this is something so funny to me. And we have, you know, a couple ultimates on the we side of that. Sneaky one front lash. I can't wait to see them use them all. They they've sneaky. got four. They got five, almost six. One. Is then this man comes out and, and that cosplay? end guy gets just deleted out of it. So definitely did not get what he was looking for there. <laughs> right. So that is one down. So they're back down to team. five. It looked like his team was be waiting for, to group up, but we still have, you know, Grookey, you know, sneaking a little bit further, and up comes King Pebble, and they're, they're antsy. Oh, and then we have a dive in. I'm afraid for this monkey right now. The Winston <laughs> comes out. There is a Reaper and several of the people on him. The Flame Beast Chaser with another broke. huge shatter. The Barrage the comes out and only gets one. Trouble <laughs> Jesus gets finished off. Sandwich 14 with the Death Blossom. It's a literal oh ult fiesta my. right now, <laughs> as all five ults from that Six. one team come out. Oh, and it works. All six. Well, for the first two ticks, you know, they do have a recontest here, and we do have Rally coming out. Oh, oh they couldn't reach not him. Not up. Wild. And there you have it, folks. Map number two going to that one team. And from like a... I feel really bad for Flame Chaser. That that shatter at the end hey. there was absolutely massive. Nah, he's and here he goes, for the game. Though. I'd also like to take this moment about this Pachi. Oh to remind you about our official unofficial sponsor, Brondo, the Thirst Mutilator. It's what plants crave. And what a, the charge on to King Pebble into the shatter was just so mm. spicy. I love to see it. And I feel Trumpet like... Jesus would, so I want to point something out here. Trumpet Jesus played so one round on Mercy and he got a card for it and then swapped and like we didn't play it to start and so i really when i saw the switch to brig there i know brig is like super op and all that but i really wish they would have kept the mercy i feel like they were playing really well with that um kind of like base support onto like a specific person at a time and i think they played really well around that um and so i think we just saw a little bit of um lack of confidence in our hero picks from nobody said peanut butter mm -hmm. um which can definitely happen when you have somebody running one team comp for the entire time and I'm doing really well, which we see from that one team. Mm -hmm. um, but I really think they just need to like pick some heroes and stick it out. You know, just because it doesn't work for one or two fights, you know, build some ultimates, make some plays, like understand what your team is trying to do. Just give yourself a little bit of time to do that. Yeah, I definitely agree. You know, the, the hero roulette is really, you know, because then at the end of the day, you're basically starting yourself from square one every time you mm -hmm. swap off. Mm -hmm. And then exactly. that just slows down your progress. So looking at uh, map number three tonight, it's going to be Escort. We have the options of Dorado, Junkertown, or Djibouti, a.k.a. Gibraltar. Djibouti. Isn't Junkertown, is that, like, not in the game right now? Because it was causing a bug? Uh, or is that I just in, like, the, the map rotation for, like, ladder? I, th I think? couldn't tell you. I thought they fixed that, but who knows? Not sure. Um, well, Junkertown it is. Guess we'll find out. Monka W. <laughs> I fully expect to see some Torbjorn play from Cardas on defense here with Junkertown. Again. Listen, Torbjorn's really good on defense, especially in this first point, because there's so many good places to put the turret. Um, it's just, you, you get a lot of chances to defend at various chokes throughout that first point. Even oh. in the wide open area towards the end of first point. Fox, we haven't flamed Dan yet. Uh... What are you talking about? We flamed him so hard for yeeting himself off the side of the map on Nepal. <laughs> I, I had oh, yeah. a great view True. of him like <laughs> slamming down into all six of the other team, throwing his minds out, and then dying. And then dying. <laughs> <laughs> I just I promised him in caster chat we would flame him, so I wanted to make sure. <laughs> uh, Linda Mood saying there was a big bug on Junker Town. Doesn't know if it's fixed yet or if it's being fixed. So um, is that why the I servers we'll... were down today? Um, I do remember seeing they were doing something to fix something yesterday, like on Tuesday, but I, I don't know anything beyond that. Yeah, that's a hard stroke for me. <laughs> I, I just Googled Overwatch Junkertown bug real quick, and there's a Reddit thread from fairly recently, and the top comment is, could we get a game-breaking bug on Hanamura or Volskaya <laughs> or Temple Please. of Anubis? Please. 
<laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I would love a Hanamura game-breaking bug. Speaking speaking of Temple of Anubis, um, Fox, I just want to mention this because it's been in the Discord chat. But I was saying to my team last night, mm. there's no way this is going to work when you got caught in that trap. <laughs> so yeah. it appears uh, on the like Blizzard forums, Junkertown's been down since December 20th. Really? And still hasn't been, yeah, it's been a minute. put up. It hasn't been put back up yet. Um, basically, there there's some like bug in their spaghetti making Junkertown just like end matches mid game and just like kick everybody back to home screen. You know, I, guess I haven't, haven't fixed it yet. I haven't like I don't I can't remember the last time I played Junkertown. So, Me neither. And I'm yeah. guessing that's why. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's been a while. So, I'm not sure if we can actually play Jungertown here. Um, it's, uh, According to the Blizz forum, it's available in custom games, and they haven't noticed a bug in customs. Okay. So. All, right. All right. So, uh, we just uh, strap on our big boy pants and uh, hope for the best, I guess. Yeah. And let's us just assume that there isn't going to be a Torbjorn throwing turrets behind the wall. <laughs> yeah, Linda Boot mentioning there, that little wall hack thing, it's... Uh... That's going to be yeah. interesting to see yeah. if that happens. It would be a little slimy to do that in the PMA Owl match, but... That would also, it would also assume that uh, Cardus is watching the stream in another monitor and sees that tip. Because he, he may not even right. know about it. I didn't know about it until just now, so, you know. I feel like I've seen it somewhere, but, yeah. That, we were just waiting would... for ours from the teams, I believe. We are. And uh, we see uh, on that one team, we've got some lineup changes. Front Lash is out. It's Nate Dog and Sandwich 14 on DPS. King Pebble's going to be on tank. And El Dorada jumping in now. And that one, Dan Guy, are going to be our supports for map number three. Yeah. And the lineup does not change for the Peanut Butter Boys. Yeah. Interesting that we haven't seen El Dorada yet. Um, so I know so his his work schedule is wacky as hell. Um, so that may be why he didn't show up until earlier, until just now. Because he, uh, he's a 911 dispatcher in real life. Oh. Mm. So his work schedule is all kinds of weird. Yeah. That, um, that's a, that's a fucking hard job. <laughs> it is. Like, um, if you. Very important and good for he him. Has his, but... He has his own discord that I'm in that, uh, he occasionally shares wacky tales from things he hears on the phone. <laughs> um, and boy, is it some good reading. He's also just very good at telling the story itself. Fair. Just uh, as an aside. Um, so yeah, uh, Jaden, uh, love your stories. Keep telling them. And looks like we are just waiting for the ready signal. And also, uh, a notice from that one dead guy, he said... Uh, he wants us to know that the comms on his team tonight are strictly screaming. Which, I'm trying to understand how that's different from any other time I've ever played a game with him. <laughs> because it's Honestly, not. that explains a lot from, uh, why they're winning. Because everyone knows that if you just calm louder, yep. your team knows what you're talking about. I mean, honestly, have you listened to comms from pro matches? It's just it, shouting sounds. It it is loud. I I, I don't understand. Like, I I think uh, it was, I watched some like compilation video from uh, like Overwatch League, and every single team is all just like six people all sh simultaneously shouting over each other, and I don't know how it works, but it does. And here we are, Junker Town. Dan has had too say. much sugar. He's had too much sugar, he says, in chat. I, uh, that should be interesting. Interesting concept, since sugar rushes are kind of myths. Yeah. Are but they really? I'm here for it. Yeah. yeah, they don't actually, I don't really think there's any actual, like, energy value to sugar. There it's is. Just people people sugar, get, like, dopamine hits and stuff. Sugar is a super important source of energy, but it is not, like, you don't get, like, overloaded and get, like, a temporary it's not a drug. explosion it's just... of... It's not, it's not it's not cocaine. Sucrose. Right. <laughs> but no, sugar is like crazy important um for energy. That's why the the single dumbest thing in the world IMO is like sugar-free Gatorade 
because sugar is literally the thing that makes Gatorade good for endurance sport performance. Like the sugar gives you the you need, like it's, energy. It's part of the electrolytes that the plants thing. crave. <laughs> like, <laughs> And it so it like, is the electrolytes that our, our body, part. which is effectively a very large plant, craves. <laughs> our body, which, need I remind you, plant. is just a plant. Here we have... <laughs> we, don't, we don't photosynthesize, but we do need sun, and we do need sugar. Here we and have water. casually hot takes with Jonah. <laughs> Casual hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember all that jazz about plant cells and animal cells? Inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Oh my goodness, we have uh, Nate Dog putting on his best front lash cosplay. And a mercy pocketed Echo as well. So we have double flyers <laughs> on the team of Tots. Ooh, and, and Trump have a mercy pick. Ooh, Oof, that's not good. And just, uh, honestly, the thing with that one team is they just thrive in this chaos of sending so many people flying at you from so many directions. And mm -hmm. then just leaving like one person on the cart. And uh, there it is. They just wipe most of Nobody Said Peanut Butter. And there's not much that Nobody Said Peanut Butter can do about it because they're just running a much slower comp and they just have to back off and regroup as they are down three now. Guy I, would hit hard. I would not be surprised to see the swap off of the Hanzo here because I know I'm not sure if that's one of Eric's most comfortable heroes. Yeah, we have the swap to the Echo right here, but also running Hanzo into an Echo and a Fara plus a Mercy and a Lucio, not a, not really a great time. Yeah, you just too many fast flying targets and Hanzo cannot reliably, mm -hmm. in my experience at least, hit things that are floating around in the air. Trust me, as much as I try, as, as cool as it would feel to just like pop an Echo or a, uh, a Farah out of the air, it's a little bit harder to do, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We see we get uh, some hit scan from Cardus now running the Ash. Actually, no, he had that before, I lied. Um, he did. But we see uh, competing monkeys here as Flame Chaser jumps in on the Winston now. He Cardus does get a pick there on Nate Dog, but uh, just too many picks coming out on the side of that one team. And the res coming up from El Dorada, and that is going to be a solid take for that one team. It's also, it's interesting to see Dan on the Lucio as well with the full dive heroes and the flying DPS, full dive tanks, excuse me. And then a Lucio, he's probably he's just, just uh, kind of editing around. He's just giving, uh, he's just giving King Pebble a little bit extra momentum as he heats himself around the various <sighs> corner. He is very much editing around. <laughs> as you can see, I'm, I'm watching him right now, just kind of doing his best Frogger impression. <laughs> just. <laughs> just balls deep in the enemy team. Because, <laughs> you know, Lucio is a dive hero if... Uh, if you're you brave enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every hero is a dive hero if you try. <laughs> there we go. King Pebble launching a minefield on the backside of... Uh, the, of nobody said peanut butter's uh, field there, and Drumma Jesus goes down to the mines. Mm -hmm. Kind of had to Jesus float lightly down game. into those. He just... He couldn't do anything about it. He just got caught out mid-guardian angel, and the minefield happened literally all around him, and he was basically trapped. Mm -hmm. So you, you hate to see it. Makes stupid at going D.Va now, which is definitely a good pick here against these Flyers. But uh, it just seems like right now, nobody said Peanut Butter spending so much time being staggered. Bob getting pushed off the point by the concussion grenade from Farah there, yeah, as well as others. Trying to toss that out for a little bit of stall, but unfortunately, when every hero in the game has CC, it's a little bit tougher. <laughs> Absolutely. And now, nobody said Peanut Butter... Coming into this with uh, both support alts and uh, DPS alt and tank alt, so they've got some things online that could help. Trumper Jesus, though, going down early in this next fight here, and we see uh, that one team. They've got three alts of their own, so it's going to be curious to see how this goes. And we see both uh, Echo's alts come out, and both have tanks that get copied. Sandwich 14 already gets his whole hog and finishes off Flame Chaser. Nate Dog gets Barrage, but doesn't get anybody with it. Uh, Sandwich 14 does eventually finish Flame Chaser. The McStupid had stopped Sandwich 14's copy eventually, though. And Guy Fieri's copy also getting nullified. Doesn't look like he was able to secure any kills there. Nate Dog just floating around and picking people off one by one here in the meantime. And with over four minutes to go, that one team is just not really being contested as they push this cart. Really just... Oh, there it is. A nice pick there on that Dan guy. Finally, uh, his hubris has caught up to him here. But El, El Dorada oh, is going to give him a second chance that he genuinely does not deserve. <laughs> there it is. Oh. And we see... Ooh, Nate Dog finally getting picked off there by McStupidhead. And here comes another minefield from King Pebble. And uh, Flame Chaser is just going to eat himself right out of it. Give Pops the Angry Monkey. We all see an Angry Monkey coming up from Grookey. So it's just uh, one on one here with the uh, raging slapping apes. 
And here's another whole hog for Big Stupid Head. He's just gonna trap that one Dan guy in a corner and tell him, no sir, you don't get to ult. Cardas gets two with the visor in the meantime, oh. and they finally stop the progress of the cart. Cardas with the it only I actually can't believe that dang guy's beat. Oh, he dropped. That's actually huge. Yeah, um, Big Stupid Head, yeah, I, I just like thought he just had him in a corner in a wall, just him by himself. Dan was worried about getting flamed by me and Fox, but apparently it was uh, Bang on My Drums who was the real, the real culprit in the end. <laughs> Listen, I just get to talk the most, and we specifically agreed that this was going to happen. So giving I'm just giving people what they want. He does not deserve. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of things people may or may not deserve, we see Carter Simic Stupid Head once again popping off here. Eldorado getting lasered hard by that coalescent. <laughs> Trumpet Jesus will red big Stupid Head, and in comes the minefield from King Pebble. Although we see he's they're missing several members of his team, so he's not really going to be able to get much out of it. As most of nobody said peanut butter is kind of on the opposite side of that minefield, where it's not really going to affect them. And we see meanwhile, ooh, that Dan guy swaps to the Zen, and Guy Fieri is going to give him the old fist a Rooney. We have our monkey uh, on the that one team going in again, and so one thing that I would really love to see right now is a um, a solid group up. I think, I think everybody can use a little group up sometime. Um, Absolutely. And a lot of people, uh, as you kind of do in PMA Owl, you just, you don't. <laughs> I think for a long time we had a, a big snowball here, but now we've shaved a little over two minutes off of the clock here to to uh, cap this final point for that one team. And we're finally grouping up here for a solid fight. We have a new tank line. And we see uh, Guy Fieri, oh, Guy Fieri is going to pop that uh, ult entirely just to get out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, no, he doesn't make it. <laughs> he needs to get a bit of damage with it. Ooh, but Nate Dog getting picked off. That's actually really important, getting rid of that. Oh, and Flame Chaser on the Arisa here. The Love King Pebble Arisa. going down. Love Nate Dog does get res. That Dan guy is going to go down. His big stupid head pops another whole hog. Down goes Nate Dog as well. Mr. Billiam is just saying, no, sir. And we see the uh, Supercharger coming out here. I could actually be... Well, I don't see it anymore. I mean, Arisa is just it a got deleted pretty fast. Brr, like... Honestly, I like like Arisa. She entirely has her uses, especially when you're defending tight chokes like this, and you have the ability to use the pulls in, you know, little alleyways here where you can grab a bunch of people and shoot them in the face. Two nights mm. ago, my team literally only played Arisa for an entire evening. Like, I'm, I was I'm not here to it judge an Arisa. <laughs> yeah, listen, think... double shield is a thing that works. And it's definitely going to work, like, the Arisa Hog into the, the ball, the monkey, the Echo. Uh, switching over to the Reaper now, which might be a little scary for Will, but I'm sure he knows his way around a Reaper or two. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And here we go. Guy Fieri just kind of getting some quick little punchies there. Grookey, who's up on the uh, rotating platform here. Quick and here comes punch. another Supercharger from Flame Chaser. He's got to turn around because Grookey's going to destroy it, and he does. Ooh. But he is in the middle of several people. The Coalescence coming out from Viceroy Griff. Trying to keep his team in this fight. We see the Angry Monkey coming out from Grookey. He's trying to make something happen. Big Stupid Head finishes off Nate Dog. And with time ticking down, Flame Chaser goes down to Sandwich 14 on the Echo. Trumpet Jesus finished off by that one. Dan Guy. And Guy Fieri, oh, getting the five ball to the face. And we see here comes the uh, William. He's trying to make something happen. That Viceroy Griff is out of the fight. Big Stupid Head now is getting taken down in overtime. Ooh. That point is, the cart is going to move cart forward, but cart is getting yoked life. onto the cart and then deleted. And here's more members of that one, of uh, Nobody Said Peanut Butter trying to make something happen. I'm not... trying to make it, but he oh, does Eric, not. Well, <laughs> Eric, what? Hey, the, the, when you're a hero like Doomfist and you see a Zen just kind of chilling somewhere, it's really hard not to go, mm, he's going for the Zen. Yeah. It's really hard not to Ooh. do that. No, I, that's that's fair. That that's, was uh, that was hard. It's like, hard to it's see. It's like though. being Reaper and seeing Winston and just being like, "Oh, look at you! I'm going to make your life hard." No. Yeah. So that that was Did a I wild ride you? in terms of nope. uh, attack for that one team and defense for nobody said peanut butter. We got definitely very very snowballed. I think I definitely feel for Trumpet Jesus on that mercy because he got picked early the very first fight and continuously just got back just in time for their team to lose the next fight. And so just kept getting picked off. And so once they were able to like fully stabilize uh, at that third point there, they put up like a really, really good fight. They shaved a ton of time off. They got it into OT. So 
Um, I think a little bit better of a showing for Nobody Said Peanut Butter than maybe it might have seemed. Um, and so we have the Widow coming out from yeah, uh, Guy Fieri. Uh, shutting down really that snowball it. was nothing to mm -hmm. shake your fist at. I mean, oh, was that was an impressive effort. And d despite even some of the memey things that... Uh, actually, be I think actually because of some of the memey things that Nobody Said Peanut Butter did, I mean, Big Stupid Head ulting that one Dan guy into a corner like that stopped him from saving his team with the beat. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, here we go. We've got we've got long range deep or at least mid range DPS on the side of that one team as well. Guy Fieri kind of having a bit of a duel there with Nate Dog. Ooh, trumpet Jesus. Oh, trumpet oh. Jesus! No. Oh, oh but the pick coming up on Guy from Guy Fieri on sandwich fourteen. Beautiful headshot there. See, King Pebble also going out. He got a little bit too spicy with this rollout there. Unfortunately, he got punished for it. Ooh, Ooh that was a great Nate shot. Dog. Eric. R.I.P. to Nate Dog. All right, Eric. The, the Lord of Flavor Town had to regulate. <laughs> down goes Eldorada here now to make stupid head on the Roadhog. Wow. You see, the, Zar the Arisa Hog is going to be the move here. I Ooh, down goes Grookey. Intimately familiar with the emotions that Eric just felt where he hit two like really good headshots and then was like, hell yeah, I'm so good, and then missed the hook. Oh, trust me, we all do. <laughs> and it was just like... <laughs> <clears throat> like Listen, the me point is, they just... Time. <laughs> Ooh, King Pebble trying Ooh. to get spicy in the back line and does not succeed. And look at that, a solid push for that one, for uh, nobody's to peanut butter. I think they might actually have done that a bit right faster here, right than here. that one team did. <laughs> oh no, Guy Fieri. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> you have to watch out for that monkey. And yeah, like, was, all right, I'm gonna take some space. Was, oh uh, no, I'm not in a good space. <laughs> that was definitely a faster take of first point. Um, there was like one recontest when they were on the other side. See, right now, Grookey and King Pebble once again just doing this uh, Zoo Pals dive here <laughs> and uh, just harassing the back line of Nobody Said Peanut Butter. And uh, Ono Grookey goes down there to Vice for a Griff because unfortunately, you can't shield the suck. You can't shield the suck. You heard it here first, kids. Okay, and here comes the visor from Cardus. Takes out Sandwich 14. He's looking around for more targets, but they are all hiding, as they should be. Oh, no, no that one. Dan guy on the brig getting hit at the end there by the Helix rocket. That has got to hurt. Eldorado is on the Baptiste this time. And we see McStupid Head also got a nice pick there on Nate Dog. Grookey's going to come in, but Flame Chaser just popped his, uh, tr his uh, supercharger there. Did not last for long because Grookey's got to jump in and tickled it to death. You see Eldorado going down despite the Immortality Field coming out there. Here comes a Dragon Strike onto point, but there's literally nobody there. So uh, nobody said Peanut Butter is just going to wait that out. And we see that Dan guy, he got in there and stunned McStupid Head out of his ult, but then he uh, did not last very much longer beyond that. We see Nate Dog now on the Reaper here. We see Sandwich 14 getting punched out by Guy Fieri. Cardis will finish off Nate Dog, and that's going to be the end of that contest. And point number two successfully taken by um, Nobody Said Peanut Butter. Yeah, and here we have a kind of a similar situation that we were on uh, in the last round, but flipped on its head, obviously. We have uh, a couple ultimates coming online uh, for Nobody Said Peanut Butter, which are going to be really helpful, especially with that the Coalescence and the, the Mercy Pocket, Mercy Valkyrie. Um, in fact, if I'm them, okay, there it is. There's, there's, the, pop there's one the coal. Right they, they popped the Immortality Field early, and it goes down already. We see the Flame Chaser now on the Rhine here. Ooh, and he gets charged out by King Pebble. Ooh, the big res, though. Jesus. That is huge. Mix Stupid Head is down, though, so they are still short. Oh, Ooh, no, that, really like, that dead guy just told Damn. nobody, you don't get to ult today, sir. And you're not a Lucio anymore. <laughs> you can't be either. You can't yeah, just throw, throw your ultimate out. You're going to... That'll happen. Fight. Despite how strong Brig might be, uh, her ult does not make her invincible anymore. No, so uh, you, you can't just do that. Being said, we do have a fight win from uh, that one team. And Eric using his ultimate to get back in? Okay. Ooh, Jaden, why didn't you move? All you had to do was move to your left or right. And then ultimates are used to uh, sustain fights, right? Yes. No, Sometimes just, they are. Just and see, here it's working pretty well. Flame Chaser just kind of yeah. eating himself in and causing a lot of people a lot of problems as Nate Dog has to fade on out here. That dead guy now running the Ana, so we've got a double main heal, but uh, ranged main heals. So that's going to make it a bit tough for the healers. Ooh, Dan guy going down as he was caught a little out of position here. Nate Dog did a pop his ult, and there's nobody there to stop him. He's going to take her of Viceroy Griff, and that's going to be another team fight win. 
for that one team. Trumpet Jesus getting angry monkey. Probably didn't really need that at the end there, but hey, uh, it's it happened. And oh, Cardis, buddy, <laughs> he was trying to get away, but he just couldn't. Okay, there was a bad piece and a reaper really after him. I mean, we do have a Junkrat with Tyre coming out, as well as a window. Um, so, Jonah, I'm sure you're on the edge of your seat, waiting to see where this Tyre goes. Listen, I'm not saying I'm slightly hard right now, but I am. <laughs> I'm not we were, saying I'm not. <laughs> we were really proud of ourselves for not giving you a 4K on Monday. That was really actually... the highlight of the game, was we didn't let you yeah. murder all see... of us. <laughs> oh, and but... speaking of murdering Flame Chaser with a huge shatter there on King Pebble, the immortality field comes out from El Dorada, followed by the IMAX theater. Here comes the tire. There's not really anyone left. <laughs> so, a uh, little bit unfortunate there. Didn't uh, get the value he was probably hoping for. Guy Fieri on the Farah, though. He takes out that dead guy. And they also used Window in that fight. So, yeah, like you said, that's going to be uh, kind of. Uh, I mean, but that's basically a cooldown for uh, yeah. somebody like El Dorada who's that good at Baptiste. Right, and here we have, we just need to stabilize, and then we need to use our Valkyrie. I feel like we've been holding on to this Valkyrie for a while. I could have just missed the first time that she used, that uh, Trumpet Jesus used it. He hasn't, to me, it seems like he's kind of looking for the right opportunity, and there it is. There it is. I'm going to say, the right opportunity is, you know, Right soon. now. <laughs> the opportunity Actually. is, we're in the middle of a team fight. Go fight people with your face. And here we go. The ch Flame Chaser is on point. He doesn't have much support, though. The rest of his team is kind of floating around kind of behind him. Guy Fieri pops his ult, but the fidget spinner gets in the way. Oh, man. He does manage to eventually take out El Dorado, though, sort of as an afterthought. And Gardas will take out Grookey, so that is two big picks. They gotta watch out because Nate Dog is right above them, and he pops another Death Blossom. He gets stunned out of it by a big stupid head, only gets one pick, and Gardas will get rezzed. That dead guy is on point with Grookey. The shatter comes out from Blade Pacer, stopping people from getting the point. And right now, oh, it's Will. just Grookey spinning around by himself. Big Stupid Head is just going to wait for his hook to cool down so he can just grab him and tell him, no, you don't get to do that anymore. It's just a matter of waiting. Oh, and he explodes before the hook even gets to land. That dead guy coming back is the Lucio. He gets pushed off by the concussion rocket of Farah, And he is just trying for dear life, and he doesn't make it very Ooh, long. And there we are. Time on the clock for Nobody Said Peanut Butter. That was such a flashy ult. I very much like this. <laughs> that was such a flashy ult from Nate Dog, but the cart didn't stop moving the whole time he was doing it. Mm -hmm. So it was like, ooh, you shut down the soldier ult, and you, ooh, but, uh, but, but you're losing. I think that, <laughs> that being said, uh, that was a really good play by Will to hook, it, um, hook him out of the ult. Because Will came out of there with most of his HP, despite being purple. They did lose their soldier, but, I mean, they raise it right back. Um, so, honestly, that was really, really good play from our Roadhog on the side of Nobody Said Peanut Butter. Yeah. Also, I just want to point out something here, Shushi Foof. I have not been ignoring chat. I've just been paying to think attention to this fight, because it's been very exciting. And uh, I want to... I, I actually appreciate uh, Linda Mood's little point here that, as Sombra, he sees a Zenyatta, and it looks like the moistest cake. <laughs> Which uh, I'm definitely Does that down for make that. Him moister than an oyster. Just moist, delicious. And uh, yeah, the uh, is this the content I, you I, came here for? We came, absolutely came here for it. This is the high quality moist content you came here for. It is. I do. The moist really have content. Back to, anyway, back to the game. Uh, I'm actually, I'm really happy to see Nobody Said Peanut Butter on the same team comp. They've got like their Doomfist, their Soldier, they've got their Orisa, their Hog, um, and the Mercy as well. I think the Mercy is good. But here we have Sandwich Widow coming out. Oh, oh man. You, Eric. They're going to have to res that, and they do. And now Guy Fieri just right, running right back in and gets a good punch there. Stupid and Flame Chaser gets some nice picks early on there. It's going to stop this cart in its tracks. Ooh. And King Pebble just holding up his shield, trying to make something happen here. Guy Fieri just terrorizing that backline. Why well, Griffin be getting a nice little skill orb there as Grookey goes down. Flame Chaser just popping off right now on the Arisa here. I do enjoy the Arisa. Ooh, McStupid Head gets spicy on Sandwich 14 to swap to the McCree, but uh, didn't live very long after walking out of spawn. They're oh. close enough to. Uh, oh no, Will. He got caught out with his spicy flank. And here we go, with only a few seconds counting down. 
We see Guy Fieri finishes up El Dorado, so they're even now. Ooh, that's King a Pebble really big trying to push the card forward. A shatter comes out from King Pebble. I don't. He did manage to get a couple with that. And here comes the uh, Valkyrie from Trumpet Jesus to just keep his remaining team members alive. It is into overtime now, so as soon as they win the next team fight on the cart here, this match, this round is over, and they've got the time to regroup here and make something happen. See, uh, no alts on the side of nobody said peanut butter to worry about. Guy Fieri might get his meteor strike. We have supercharger. It's going to come out from Flame Chaser early. In comes Guy Fieri on the Doom Fist, heating himself around. Down goes King Pebble. There's a big purple on him, big stupid head, but he does not care. He is oh, going to do whatever care. he wants. And then he does go down. Guy Fieri gets the meteor strike on Sandwich 14 and then gets that Dan guy. In comes that Nate Dog with the Reaper ult, but only barely manages to get Flame Chaser through his shield. In comes the... Oh, oh no. Cardus tried to pop his visor, but it wasn't quite enough. Guy Fieri trying to make something happen here, but it's just him and Moira left on point. Viceroy Griff just couldn't suck hard enough to kill those four people who were still sitting there. Yep, and we lost this point. We need to cut our losses now. Uh, from the side of Nobody Said Peanut Butter, we just need to group up. We need to not do what Flame Chaser is doing right now, or will. We just need to kind of stabilize, make sure we're all back for a team fight, because we don't want another snowball here. The last thing you want on defense right now is a snowball. Especially considering they're literally in overtime, so it is just a, it is six kills away from winning this round and going into the next one. Oh, oh no, yeah. Flame Chaser just got caught with every CC on the planet. Mm, oh no, he, he, he threw just a spicy pick. too many resources. And now McStupid is still on this flank here. Meanwhile, his uh, backline getting harassed by the hamster from King Pebble. See, Guy Fieri, oh no, getting picked off by Nate Dog. And he's, oh no, he doesn't get rest because the Mercy gets booped away. And McStupid Head now going down to Nate Dog as well. And Cardus just getting caught in a the corner there by King Pebble. There's really not much that nobody said Peanut Butter can do about this at this point here. They're just going to have to probably fall back. And King Pebble is just going to use his ult early. And, uh, oh, and this is always surprise. such a tough position to be in on defense. When when you lose that second point through overtime. Um, it's still The game is still super winnable though, so... We don't Absolutely. really quite need to tell quite yet. Says the man who put all his money on Peanut Butter. No. <laughs> You're right though. It is very winnable. Hey, it was only, it was only right. Um, I, I, I'm not surprised Ooh, to see that, that Dan guy from getting Flame Chaser. picked off there by Eric, Guy Fieri early. He's just there in the back line. And ooh, the, Nate Dog gets hooked out of his ult. He does manage to get one pick, but it might not be enough. The High Noon comes out ooh. and down goes Viceroy Griff. They're just popping their ults one at a time and just chipping away at members of that one team. Mm. Just not allowing them to really get the follow-up that they need here. You see, that one team's got two ults online. They've got Valk, they've got a uh, Soldier ult. They're gonna uh, have Doomfist all any butter. second here uh, now. Wrong team, yep, yeah, another yeah, team. Peanut butter, One team. Uh, peanut butter, that's what I meant. I don't know why I keep mixing the names up. Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> um, we've got actually four alts basically now for that one team. Uh, for Nobody said peanut butter, damn it. Confusing myself again. Um, that one team really only has nano. Oh no, oh, Guy Fieri really gets uh, slept and just well, kind of annihilated fire. there. Out. And meanwhile, the Flame Chaser Shatter is absolutely massive. Cardis and Guy Fieri wreaking havoc here. In comes the Meteor Strike, doesn't get anyone, but it's really just King Pebble left on the point and he is not going to last long. And that's the end of round three with a solid team kill to finish things out. Yeah, nobody said Peanut Butter has got their work cut out for them. That is for, for damn sure. But this is definitely winnable. Um, I think we just need to play a little bit more, like, concise <laughs> no, a little bit more with our team <laughs> we need to not be picked you know it's crazy how it works when you don't die in this game you you win more games it's the weirdest <laughs> thing it is it's, it's my it's favorite a piece of uh, forehead advice that is really genuinely good advice it's like true yeah. sometimes you don't have to worry so much about how much damage you're doing or like who Stay you're alive. killing or what ultimates you can get when Staying alive is really powerful. <laughs> yeah, as wild as it sounds, you provide more value to your team when you're alive. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, there have been times I've provided more value by being dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and say it here. Abba was really onto something with that whole staying alive thing. I think that was the Bee Gees. Yes, that was the Bee Gees. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck that Damn up it. to it now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do love, though, that you thought the Dancing Queen lady 
was the voice of staying alive. I mean, the the bands are so musically similar. I think right. that's a pretty easy mistake to make. And here we have the Widow coming out, which... Uh, Would've been great, except it's in the double shield. Right. The Widow, the Widow swap for, like, you see it switching now, but, like, people oh. do Widow just to get maybe an early pick or something like that, but it's double shield, you have a lot of ground to go, you just need to play what you're gonna play and try to bring up the ultimates on those heroes. Ooh, not the getting body it, shot. That is gonna hurt. You see, and we've got, ooh, Jump Jesus, we get the res off. You see, Guy Fieri is like, screw it, I'm gonna go pirate ship. Now, he's a little bit far back from his team to do that. Right now, it's basically just the tanks from he's the, the uh, Nobody Said Peanut Butter, but, ooh, Sandwich 14 gets picked off by McStupid Head there with a very spicy hook. And now, Trumpet Jesus just really has his work cut out for him right now. Guy Fieri has finally made it to the cart. He's not quite setting up on the he cart can, just yet. He can manage to get onto it. <laughs> no, I, I think that was the right play, is to stay in cover while there were still people that could shoot him in the head. Right. Yeah. I'm convinced just, that everything Guy Fieri did there was the right play. But it was still very funny to watch. He just had to take some time to develop his sea legs. Yeah. <laughs> his uh, his uh, treasure nervous. legs, if you will, since it's a giant pile of gold. First time, yeah. gently. All right, now we have an officially set up Bastion pirate ship, complete with a Mercy yeah. and a Rhine Shield. There you and go. A, uh, really oh, just right. likes to So that means that most of your frontline DPS is going to come from that Roadhog, and to a lesser extent, uh, Cardus. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a Rhine Shield just sitting there on cart trying to turtle it down. I'll be interested to see how Sandwich on the Widow does for this, because it can be tough to combat a pirate ship as Widow, but a really solid pick on the right person. I mean, you know, that's, that's kind of what Widow does. Guy Fieri already has his tank configuration, and he's going to make very good use of that. Down mm -hmm. goes Grookey. El Dorada cannot possibly be long for this world here, but uh, his ult runs out before he's able to get that second kill, but it's not really going to matter. Oh, because, oh no, King Pebble getting him with the rock. Here the comes the Gravitic Flux. It doesn't get anyone. He missed. How unfortunate. And Flame Chaser with a big shatter there. McSuman is just going to push that Bob off point. And uh, oh, the Valkyrie the comes out. And that damn guy is going to try and stall. But Maybe it's the not third. enough. They have capped the second point here, but they've got to stay close by. And Grookey getting staggered big there by Flame Chaser and McStupid Head. There, there is such, like... There's such a dopamine hit and like a sense of euphoria when you finally kill the Bastion <laughs> and then it never fails. You forget that they have a mercy yep. and you hear the res go off and all collectively, you just like think of the worst curse word that you can. You don't <laughs> say it. You probably say like shit or something, but there, there are some profanities going through people's minds. Oh, there's another early pick. Really pick. Nate Dog going down. This is a, this is a really and here good comes the Pack Miser from Cardis. He's going to get the blue beam from, from, uh, Trumpet Jesus, he gets stunned, but that's not going to stop him just yet. The Immortality Field is out from El Dorada. He's got both support alts coming out oh, now. No. Guy Fieri goes down. See, the res Trumpet again. Jesus gets the res again. Flame Chaser going down to that Dan guy. Oh. We are down to the last two minutes. In comes the Sigma ult. It oh takes my. everyone off the cart. And that is the end. <sighs> that was such a close game. Such, such really a close, close game. Oh, man. The, the Sig 9 at the end, it really just... You, just the pit of your stomach when you're just picked up like that and you know you can't do anything because you're just stuck up there. Yeah, yeah. Sick nine. You have Thomas the Tank Nation with another play of the game. game. My mans. You'd like to see the no ultimate Ooh. Rhyme Pot G. Just... I just want to point out that Eldorado popped his ult, but then he forgot. You can just walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then you, and then you, as Baptiste, you, you're kind of stuck when you're against a large hammer man. Look at that. 53 eliminations is Reinhardt. 36 objective kills. Serious performance there from Flame Chaser tonight. Honestly, th this may have been a 3-0 match, but boy, was that some exciting Overwatch tonight. Yeah, yeah. Really I think it took... not do justice to what happened here. It, it took all. nobody said Peanut Butter a little bit to catch their stride. I think we see it in chat a little bit in the game chat. Um, that the dive caught him a little bit off guard, the, the dive from Tots. Um, but once... Man, they, they were, you could tell they were in a little bit more of a groove on that last game, and oof, it was close. Oof, it was close. And these these matches can be so momentum-based. And so I think if Peanut Butter might have showed up with, like, just a little bit more of a uh, more coordinated headspace between themselves, this could have been a very, very different match. So, well played.
All right, well, with that 3-0 victory for that one team, that will do it here for tonight's contest. Thank you all in the chat for watching. And Linda Mood saying, hey, thanks for that 8.6K going to that one team. Once hey, again, back, upsetting hey, the odds. <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. And with that, I'd like to thank my fellow casters, Fox McCumulus and Mr. Taco on cams, and of course our wonderful referee, Stack Monster, for making this game happen tonight. This is Bang on My Drums saying, don't forget to swing by tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central, for the next streamed match of the week, which will be Smooth Brain Gang versus Carol. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not the right The other one. one. The other week. Um, i got to go back to the list of the week. Where is it? Looks like tomorrow we have Team by Tito's by Smooth Brain Gang, which is not being streamed. And we also have Carolina Reapers versus Birds Aren't Real. Okay, yeah. For some reason, this is I just see last week's games. But yes. So yeah, come back tomorrow for more exciting Find Me Alpha Overwatch League action, and we will catch you on the flip side.